that, uh, you know, um, again, the 70, 74 should be enough for us to win, and, um, and it wasn't. Um, we gave up too high a percentage, again, 53-7 on our home floor and 38-1 from the three-point line and they're just simply unacceptable numbers. I mean, they just, we just got to continue to work on it. We, we um, had too many turnovers in the first half with, I think, an eight-point lead, um, had consecutives, you know, and uh, with travels and, and then a step, step out of bounds. And it kind of turned the momentum and we haven't won enough to really value um, being in a tight one right now. You know, I think a little doubt set in. We, uh, we did not uh, rebound it against an inferior size team. Uh, the Lumberjacks outboarded us by 14. Uh, credit them and their effort and coming on the road and playing with that kind of effort. They did a really nice job. And, um, you know, we, we had um, just a, a, a terrific amount of defensive breakdowns. You know, they were just frustrating when you get it to two, when you get it to four where it's invariably either a defensive lack of a defensive board and a putback or a guy catching it deep right around the rim with a little shot fake and make a basket and plus one. Um, interior defense is uh, not very good. And um, we've got to continue to work is all I can tell you. You guys shoot 31 threes but only get to the line 10 times. Is there maybe even more concerted effort to get it inside? Yeah, and you know we 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 were, we were in a drive game there for the majority of the second half, which is where you're attempting to get fouled. But you got to look back at our possessions where we did throw it in, and those possessions were empty. You know, we just did not um, we did not finish plays right at the rim. Um, had several opportunities at the rim early in the ball game and just did not get them down. And um, I, the the penetrations then led to, with the exception of a Trey Touchette penetration and a dump off to to um, Kelvin for a dunk in the second half. And we also had a penetration dump off to Kelvin that he jammed between the rim in the first half, you know, and that's just a guy who hadn't played a lot. And it's obvious that he does some nice things with his athleticism and rebounding, defending, but he's a, he's a work in progress. And uh, uh, he let his uh, emotional uh, lack of, of basketball intelligence at that point get the best of him. Uh, with a with a technical, you know, that was a, that was a big play. I mean, these are things that uh, we trust he won't do, you know, a year from now or hopefully three weeks from now. But uh, uh, we started him feeling like he'd get his head up. I thought he did some nice things. Uh, he's certainly not the root of, of all of our issues right now. We don't have a lot of depth. We go to our bench. We're not getting a great deal out of our bench right now. You look at those numbers. Um, uh, we got guys playing more minutes than they should be playing that were guys that were probably – at times, backup players coming in here and back up maybe what we projected this year. And uh, every game has been a struggle. Every game has been a struggle. But we're going to try to stay positive. We're going to try to keep working at it and uh, see if we can get them better. Looking at a few stretches, you're going to jump out 16-4 lead. Second half, you mentioned you cut it to two, cut it to four. Omega brings you back within five, within three. Is, this that, is it unable to close? Is this team just not well, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't won enough, right? No, we haven't won enough. Yeah, and that happens. You know, you do you, you – you can learn how to, to be on the other end of it too. Learn how to lose a little bit, and uh, and that's what we got to fight, and that's what we got to stay on top of. Do you those stretches? Is that kind of emphasis for you, guys? you know, there's just yeah, there, there's nothing like you know just getting stop, stop, stop. You know, coming down the court and getting four consecutive stops to get yourself, you know, over the top, and uh, that's something that is really kind of been foreign to. My teams through the years, uh, last year and this year's teams have, have really not been um, have been quality defensive clubs, and uh, and that's why these last you know weeks have just been spent possession after possession working you know on basic things like staying between your guy and the basket and and fronting a post and defensive rebounding and things that that we're not doing a very good job of. You mentioned that, and um, you know trying to get more points off of your mm -hmm. bench. Well, they've, they've got to, to kind of step up and do a better job in practice to where you get a trust factor there. Uh, obviously, the guys that were playing were playing with the idea that we're trying to win a game. And, uh, you know, um, you got to look at it and say, okay, well, those guys aren't 
you know, in there, there's probably a reason for that, right? Because nobody wants to win more than this coaching staff. And so, you know, we, we, um, we've got to continue to try to grow those guys and they've got to give us a chance to let them grow. Is, is confidence maybe an issue too? Some of these guys that haven't played a lot of minutes? I don't think that has a lot to do with the lack of defensive stops, you know? Um, I really don't. And uh, you know, there's a reason why you schedule Southeast Louisiana, Northwest Louisiana, and, and Northern Arizona here at your place early. Your hope is that you're going to, uh, you know, have a cushion, have leads to where those guys play, you know, significant minutes and get get a chance to get that. We we haven't had that chance because we have been um, trying to climb uphill. What change? You guys started four of seven with a great ball movement from three point land, and then you guys mm-hmm. finished a half all of seven with still good ball movement. Just guys just not making shots during. We didn't make some shots during that stretch, and and a lot of those shots were were threes. We did have we did have two that were at the rim that did not go down, but prior to that point, with the lead that you you guys just mentioned earlier, uh, we had turnover step on the out of bounds line sideline. We had travel sideline. We had travel high, and and those are empty possessions where we don't get two or three, and they go down and get baskets, and uh, and those are. Those are back-breaking plays for a team that's trying to learn how to win. Is this the most challenging you know, coaching job that you've had? In yeah, your it is. It is. Career? Yeah, in my college career by far, by far, by far. Yeah, by far. Do you feel like, yeah. you, like even in games you're, you're having to you know, tell guys certain things as far as kind of where to be? Well, we're always trying to coach it. You know, when we pull a guy out, we're pulling him out for a reason, and you'll notice that a coach – is going to him to address and you know in in a positive way and then get your head up and you're going back in the game, you're going back in the game. When you go back in the game, you got a job to do. So so, um, you know these guys. Uh, um, you know I think when when you do lose six in a row, I think you become sensitive. I think that's a a, a real uh, real delicate balance here. You know for a coaching staff, you've got. Uh, you know, uh, the old great saying from Don Haskins that I've always tried to live by is that, you know, when you win, you guys are unrealistic. And they always think it's because of them and some great shot they made. And when you're losing, uh, guys are a little bit vulnerable. And I think that we probably are to an extent right now, you know. So, uh, but you, you're trying to rely on guys to go compete and, and, um, and understand that the one number that we can really, really control is this 76 number or 79 at the pit, or 80 at the pit, or the number against New Mexico State, whatever it was, 78, okay? That's the number that, that if you're sound, okay, and if you can stay between your guy and the basket, and if you can get back, you know, and if you can, can uh, you know, front a post and have backside help and do the things that we do literally 75% of our practice, then, uh, then that number will correct itself. And, uh, you know, Three years ago, we had a real challenge with uh, the gambling incident, and um, we lost lost three players, and um, went out and just guarded and guarded and guarded, and got better defensively. And I think we won eight in a row, maybe nine in a row. Opened up with wins at, at a good Middle Tennessee State team. They'd won 25 in a row on their home floor, and at UAB right off the back because we were very difficult to score against, and. Uh, and, and, and I think that the, the one thing that uh, our guys have got to realize is that nobody really cares about numbers on a bad team, okay? And, um, and, and numbers become real important when, uh, when you're stops, and that's when guys, you know, get, get credits when you're winning games and people pay attention. But nobody's paying attention if we're not getting any stops and we're not guarding anybody. And uh, I don't know that, it, that you could work any harder than what we worked here these last – 48 hours, 72 hours. It's been really, 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 really difficult, and uh, and we're not we're not getting her done right now. Just not getting her done. And then, and then again, I want to credit Northern Arizona. They came in and they played better than us. Good job. I heard you say that this team just isn't very good right now. Do you think that they're mm-hmm. underperforming? You know, um, I don't know that. I, I I think that if you looked at our roster. Right now, at times, you know, when we're playing some people that you'd have to say maybe we're outmanned at some positions, okay? And, uh, and we're trying – that's why guys are playing significant minutes. So um, we're, we're trying to get those guys that we have better, okay? And we're going to approach every game like we can go get better in every practice. Um, just first and foremost, just, you know, speak about the night overall. 
Um, that one definitely really hurt us. Uh, you know, close game. Um, you know, the turnout wasn't what we wanted at the end. Um, you know, we just got to rebound. We got to rebound better. This team out rebounded us. I think it was by like 12 rebounds or so. And uh, there's no excuses for that, you know. Um, but, you know, we can't just rely on our big man to rebound. We got to, everyone's got to do it as a team. Um, so that's something we definitely need to work on. Um, but, yeah. Talk a little bit about the, the frustration, I guess, of, you know, dropping another game. Yeah, no, it's, it's this, the, like I said, like it's, you know, I don't think any of the guys feel good right now. Um, I know the coaches don't. Uh, you know, we're, we're working hard in practice, you know, uh, and this, this isn't the outcome we want. Um, but, uh, you know, all we can do right now is work harder. Um, we can't do anything. You know, it's, it's happened. Uh, we can just work harder, watch film, and uh, hope to improve. You know, the conference season's, you know, where the wins and losses really start to count. Um, what does this team need to do to, you know, go, go into that conference season strong? Well, we need to win our next basketball game. Um, you know, we need a, you know, conference is coming up. Um, you want to be hot going into conference. We need to just win these these next great uh, next couple games coming up. It's a great opportunity for us with this tournament. Um, so, <coughs> you know, like I said, we got to get back to the get back to work uh, and put forth effort and you know change change things. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, same same deal. Just talk about the night, man. Um, like Jake said, no one really hurt us. Uh, I was hoping to come out with the win and start a streak because it's still early in the season. We think we can still turn this around, but yeah, that one definitely hurt. And uh, you know, obviously, it's frustrating to to lose a game, but to you know start getting a losing streak. Uh, just talk about the frustration of that. I just want to end it. Just want to just want to win. Start winning. Get on the streak. It's still early in the season, and we're hoping we can still turn this around um, for conference. But yeah, it definitely sucks. You know, uh, uh, shoot. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> was I stepping on your shoes? Oh, no, uh, you know, shooters go through a, a shooting slump, and some, you know, you hit that one three, and it kills that slump. You think that's the same thing with losses? You know, you just get that one win, and they can just start piling on. I'm not getting the question. Like, uh, you think one just winning one game will be able to, you know, just start turning the season around and oh, get yeah. a winning streak going? Uh, just, I think we need to learn how to win again. You know, just getting that feeling and. Right now, we're just another loss, another loss. And I think if we just get that win, it's going to it's gonna feel good. We're going to have better practices. I think, yeah, it, it should help us if we get a win. We just need to get one. And what do you feel is uh, the thing the team needs to work on the most, I guess, uh, just to turn this, this thing around? I, I think we, we work really hard in practices and everything. And Coach Floyd is a great coach. I know he's looking at what we can do better. But I think it's effort, really, at this point. And just if, uh, if you get blocked or you get dunked on, like, don't let that affect you. Like, we got to, like, keep going and play hard, like, the whole game. Like, the game's not over until the clock's, like, out.